So I'm just going to apologise in advance for how laggy this video is going to be. Unfortunately, this mechanism here um, on my laptop is really, really slow. Um, and so when I'm recording, it's even worse. So there may be some random freezes in the middle of this recording. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I can't really do anything about it at the moment. But anyway, um, let's get into what this is. So this is a system to rotate a cube. So I'm just going to do a quick demonstration. If we look at the cube we have at the moment, we have a look at all the different faces are color coded. So the center is um, what face the color is, and the the one sort of coming outwards point towards um, the faces neighboring it. So from green, this way is yellow, this way is purple, this way is blue, and this way is red. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway. So that's just sort of to give you a reference and determine that the, the cube is actually being rotated. So then I have some options. I can either rotate it this way by setting my face to 4. I can rotate it this way by setting my face to 2. I can set it this way by setting my face to 3. I can rotate it this way by setting my face to 1. So I'm going to set my face to 1 because that seems like a good thing to test. And then I just place a redstone block here, and it will freeze terribly and be really slow. You can see some armor stands moving, and there we go. So let's just check which way should it have rotated. It should have rotated this way. So now, if we look at this face here, we see that red is on the top, purple's on the bottom, orange is to the right, and green is to the left. And now, if we look at this one, orange is to the right, so you see it's moved round 90 degrees, red is now left, it's moved 90 degrees, green, yep. So that has all moved, rotated 90 degrees. And then if we look at the faces, you see orange has moved to the top, and red has moved to this size side. So now I'm just going to do a brief explanation on how this system works. If the recording doesn't freeze randomly. So, I've put glass blocks to signify where armor stands would be, and our three platforms are the three regions. The one on the left is our starting region, the one on the right is our end region, and the one in the middle is an intermediary region. So, to start with, the armor stand there clones the horizontal slice it's in and places it in this region, like that. Then once that has happened, these guys clone this section in strips and paste them relative to themselves. So this bottom one will take the first slice and paste, the second one will take the next slice and paste, which will put a green there, the next one will take the next slice and paste, and it will leave us with this. Then we teleport these guys over one, like that and we teleport this guy down like this and we repeat the same process just like that so that's basically how it all works the armor stands just do that process automatically um, but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like. It will be really, really appreciated. This video was a bit of a nightmare to record. I had so many problems um, with the recording freezing and everything. So just, yeah, positive feedback would be nice. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, um, please subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you next time.